regardless of what country your heritage is from. This man here, his name is Mohammed. He's of Pakistani heritage, which he's proud of. But he left Islam. He left Islam. And because, because he left Islam, he lives in fear. He lives, he's been ostracised from his community by his own family. I'm not going to tell his story. It's for Mohammed to tell you his story. I'm just letting people know at home what this movement is about. This movement is part of a European-wide, in fact, worldwide. I woke up this morning to a message from a friend in Australia. He sent me a video of their demonstration that they took part in due to the time difference. There was thousands of people marching through Canberra this morning as part of this movement. As we set off, as we set off at two o'clock, people set off in Germany, in Holland, in Belgium, in Bulgaria, in Poland, in the Czech Republic, everywhere at the same time. This is, I, I travelled around Europe, I saw groups taking part in demonstrations and no one was hearing about it. People will say, our opposition will say, you achieved nothing today. The whole of Europe is talking in, in chat shows, on radio shows, on the news, the whole of Europe is talking about this debate right now, thanks to every single person in Europe that took part in it. I listened to a radio poll yesterday in the Republic of Ireland, where the leader, they, they also in the Republic of Ireland are demonstrating today, their leader was on the radio and 95% of the people supported him in a poll. We have to, our politicians and the media have to get to grip with the reality. There was a, an article this week that called me a pariah. There's this, there are articles that believe that I'm the most hated man in Britain. Everywhere I go, people shake my hand. Everywhere, everywhere I walk in my hometown of Luton, black people, Hindu people, Sikh people, white Christian people, they pat me on the back and they tell me to keep going. So I know the people support what I stand for. I will, again, I can't believe I'm having to say this. I, I come to a hotel this morning. I met two people. Um, they said they were here for the demonstration. I looked at the gentleman. He had a squash sticker tattoo, tattoo on his hand. Six years on, and I'm still having to tell you, if you're a Nazi, if you're a racist, and you're watching this, you're not welcome on the streets of the UK with us. We're in the city of Birmingham. Why are we in the city of Birmingham? All these politicians, this is a message for them as well. All the people who signed a pledge of hope, that does a lot, doesn't it? That stops terrorism, that stops rape. All those politicians, I travelled around Birmingham last week, I met Labour councillors, I met leading representatives of their community, the Islamic community. The first representative was a counter-terrorism expert who worked for Cohesion. He was put forward as this heroic moderate. Everything he said sounded great. I then asked him to condemn punishment for apostasy in an Islamic state. Would he do that? Of course he wouldn't. All you have to do, this is to you journalists, when you speak to these people who are put forward as Muslim community representatives, scratch beneath the surface. That's all you have to do. Every single one that I speak to, the next one, Wasim, who's a councillor from Lazelle, I asked him, should people be able to, if they're completely peaceful, should they be able to come into the city of Birmingham and criticise Islam? He said no. Again, this is a Labour representative who is opposed to the fundamental core of freedom of speech. That should have been... That should have been the news story for the Birmingham Mail. The, but again, people in this city have to understand the agenda of the local newspapers. When I rang up the Birmingham Mail, I asked them why they run a story saying Pegida have been forced to go into an empty car park. Let's get something straight. I chose this location. It's sad 
that we have to come into the middle of nowhere to make sure we can show ourselves for what we are, to make sure that bottles and bricks are not raining in on top of us. The idea of this is so that people in this country, mark my words, many people today have sat on the fence. They want to see what happens. Let them know what happened. We met up, we were civilised, we walked in complete silence, we held speeches, we exercised our freedom of speech, we showed solidarity across Europe and we went home. That's all that happened. No racism, no inciting hate, no violence, no thugs, no hooligans. This is a movement you can support. This is a movement you can be proud of supporting. Our next demonstration will be April, the first Saturday of April, and then the first Saturday of every month from that point on. We will not tour the UK. We found a winning formula. We found somewhere we are free to walk and oppose the Islamisation of Europe. We will come back here again and again and again. We should say a, a thank you to the last organisation I, I, I led did not have a very good rapport or relationship with the West Midlands Police Force. This is a new organisation. We're a new movement. We will work with the police to make sure we can facilitate peaceful protests. We should say a thank you for them to today for making sure that we've been safely back to do so. The problems are real, yeah? The problems are real. What's happening, what's happening in Germany? Angela Merkel has let one and a half million young fighting age war hardened, some of them, Muslim men into our country. <laughs> people say, why does it affect you here? We're part of a European movement with free movement. These people can come here. The, the, the German government have already said 600,000 of these people have disappeared. They do not know where they are. They suspect that they're travelling through Europe on multiple identities. That is, a, that is a serious threat to our security, our safety. Every politician in Europe should be demanding her resignation, but they're not. I'll say, because I heard Paul say this, and it's a brilliant saying, politicians fear nothing more than the mass unified movement of people. Today is the first day of many European-wide demonstrations that will bring people together like never before. It's the tip planting of the seed of something huge. Every single one of you have taken part in it. I ask you and I beg you, when you come back, bring someone else with you next time. Thank you everyone for coming.